good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning service. Today we declare our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Lord, you are
Hallelujah. Somebody worship with me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're chasing after you. Hallelujah. Because Father God, you are all that we need. That's why we sing Christ alone, cornerstone, weak, made strong in the Saviour's love. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, in your homes, listening on your phones, hallelujah. Let's just worship, hallelujah, our God. Thank you, Jesus.
hallelujah, hallelujah. Cause when the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will sow with you Praise the Lord. What an honor and an opportunity to bring the word of the Lord to you this morning into your homes. And I pray that you be blessed as you hear the word of the Lord. And I pray that you receive it in Jesus' name. The title of my message this morning is The Light and Power of the Word. The Light and Power of the Word. And the text is Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 to 5. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 to 5. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Father, we thank you that the entrance of your word gives light. And it gives understanding to the simple. We thank you that as we are about to go into your word. Lord God, light we come bursting forth. In every area of our lives and give us, oh God, speed and breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We bind every contrary spirit, every spirit, oh God, that seeks to distract. We take authority over them and ask that your spirit we take the preeminent place. Let your word come forth with clarity, with purpose and with your anointing. And find a good ground in the heart of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now in Genesis that we just read, when God saw the darkness and chaos in the world at creation, he spoke and said, light be. And there was light. 
It was the power in his spoken word that brought light and life to the world. The Bible says the earth at creation was without form and void and was in darkness. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. It looked hopeless. The situation at creation looked helpless. And when God spoke, something happened. What overcame the hopeless situation at creation was the spoken word of God. He spoke the word and the Holy Spirit moved based on the spoken word. The Holy Spirit is the agent of light. He's the power that moves. The word of God carries divine authority and power. The earth that we are living in now is the product of the authority and power of the spoken word of God. The word of God handles the darkness at creation. Can I tell somebody that God specializes in helpless and hopeless situations? And that's why I know that your situation is too small for him to handle. There is nothing too difficult for God. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17, our Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too difficult for you. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Now, what is the purpose of the word of God? The purpose for the word of God. Number one, the word produces life. Life. When God speaks, something happens. That's why Jesus said, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. John chapter 6 verse 6 to 3. The word of God has the power to create and recreate your destiny and your future. The word of God, the Bible tells us that it is by the word of God, the heavens we are made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. We find that account in Psalm 33, verse 6 and verse 9. Hebrews 11, 3 says, Faith, says by faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. In other words, the word of God is not seen, but it creates the word of God is not visible, but it has the ability and the power to create something that can be visibly seen. How this happened is actually explained in Genesis chapter 1 that we read. That the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God spoke it, and the Holy Spirit moved based on the spoken word. The Holy Spirit is the agent of light. He's the power that moves. He's the power of God that moves. Now, the Greek word for the Holy Spirit is pneuma. And it corresponds to the Hebrew word ruach. So both words refer to breath and invincible force with emphasis on the Spirit's activity. Now, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. In other words, when we look at the word pneuma, pneuma primarily denotes breath. That is the invincible, immaterial, powerful force of God. So pneuma denotes breath. And by the breath of the mouth of God, the heavens we are created. Now, can I tell you that you and I are breathing, but we do not see the air that we are breathing. But the moment we start breathing, everything stops. Everything loses value. And so breath is the invincible instrument of life from the unseen God. Breath is the vital stuff created by God and imparted to us as life. And it is God's breath, the Holy Spirit, the breath of God that moved during the creation time and brought beauty out of chaos. He brought beauty out of a hopeless situation. He brought beauty out of a helpless situation. And that is how I know that God's word will move in your life by the breath of the Lord. It takes the bread of God that is imparted through the spoken word 
to bring life to your situation and to give you your breakthroughs. The spoken word of God activates the move of the spirit when spoken in faith. The Holy Spirit, the bread of God, carries God's dynamic, God's creative and sustaining power to give you your breakthrough. So until the word of God comes into your life, until the word of God comes into your situation, the Holy Spirit will not move. He moves with the word of God. So until you receive the word by faith, the spirit will not move and nothing will happen. Until the word of God comes into your situation, you cannot have your breakthroughs. You must receive the word of God into your situation to experience what took place at creation, to experience beauty out of chaos, to bring beauty out of ashes, to bring beauty out of a hopeless situation, to turn around a helpless situation and give you your breakthroughs. You must accept the word of God by faith. The word of God carries light and speed for our lives. That's number two. Number one, we just looked at why we needed the word of God. The word of God produces life when it speaks, something happens. And number two, the word of God carries light and speed for our lives. The word of God is the light that shines out of darkness. The word of God illuminates and it never loses its power. When God saw the darkness in Genesis, he saw the darkness and chaos in the world at creation. He spoke and said, light be, and there was light. It was the power in the spoken word that brought light and life to the world. And today, the light of the word is shining in everywhere like never before. We have the word of God. The word of God is shining all over the world like never before. But the word that you receive by faith is the one that will dispel darkness in your life. Is the one that will shine out darkness in your life. Is the one that will shine out stagnation and limitation and deliver you and give you your breakthroughs in life. The word of God is the light of the world. And this light is beneficial to all who receive and walk in it. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The same Psalm, verse 130, says, the entrance of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Now, when we put the above together, what you get is speed. When the word shines in your path, it makes you to see clearly. You will not stumble in Jesus' name. When others are stumbling because of darkness, you will see clearly. The word of God gives you understanding. Understanding the terrain. Understanding the times and the seasons. Understanding what people do not understand. And as a result, it gives you speed. It propels you forward in life. The word moves with the speed of light even faster than light. And when you receive the word of God into your situation, Isaiah 58 verse 8 says, Then shall your light break forth like the dawn. And your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Glory be to God. We need to receive the word of the Lord. We need to receive the word of God. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but we have the light of life. John chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus is the word of God. And the word that we receive is the word that we shine out darkness, that we handle chaos, that we handle whatever situation we may be going through, as it did at creation. It changed the darkness to light. It changed out darkness. Glory be to God. When you receive Jesus Christ, when you receive the word of God, then you will have your breakthroughs. My prayer is that God will come true for you speedily before the end of this year. And I pray that somebody is receiving the word of the Lord today into your situation. And that situation is changing. Somebody's light is breaking forth in Jesus' name. And limitations are being removed. Glory be to God. The light of the word of God. The light of the word of God brings light to you. And that light produces the new life in you. That's transformation. 
There is power in the word. It transforms your life. It can give you a new beginning. It can give you a new start. The word of the Lord. Glory be to God. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 16. Isaiah 42 16. The word says, and I will lead the blind in a way that they do not know. In paths that they have not known, I, says God, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light. The rough places into level ground. He said, these are the things that I will do and I do not forsake them. My prayer is that whatever darkness is standing in your way, God will level it before you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can I also tell you that darkness cannot chase light? Darkness cannot stop light. Darkness cannot overcome light. Light chases darkness and light stops darkness. I declare today by the light and the power of God that every darkness in your life, in the lives of your family, is destroyed, is dispelled by the light of Jesus Christ. Number three, the word is the word of authority and power. No word of God is void of power. We see that account in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. When the angel Gabriel answered Mary and said, With God, all things are possible. Your situation is possible. Whatever you are trusting God for is possible. There is authority in the word. There is power in the word. And Jesus spoke the word of authority. When we accept the authority of God's word, then we also will begin to prove his power. Amen, somebody. We begin to prove the power of his word. The moment you unreservedly accept the authority of God's word, you will experience his power. Mentally, a lot of people accept the authority of the word. They struggle in their heart. They struggle and stagger before his challenge. The moment we receive the word of God with our hearts and accept the authority of the word, it will work. It may not immediately become a creative and productive factor in our lives, but then all things are working out for your good because you love the Lord and you are called according to his purpose. God said, let there be light and there was light. Can I tell you that this word of God is alive and powerful. The word of God does not change. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is alive. The same God who said, let there be light in the midst of chaos. In the midst of helplessness and hopelessness and darkness. is the same God that said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. The God who said, let there be a firmament. And it was so in Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. Has also said a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come near you. He said only with your eyes will you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have met the Lord who is your God, your refuge. Even the most high, your dwelling place. He said no evil will befall you. The word, the same God who said. Let the earth bring forth grass, and it was so. As also said, the God of peace will bruise Satan under your feet and shortly, and he will also put your enemies to shame. It's the same God. It's the same word. The same God has spoken. We need to believe it. Whatever he has said concerning you, we need to receive it because the word never changes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's the same God that says, I will set you on high because you have known my name. It's the same God that says, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. The word of God does not change. We find promise after promise, declarations after declarations, assurances after assurances, truth after truth, and revelation after revelation in the word of God. But we must simply accept it. We must simply bow before the authority of the word of God. And then arise in the power that is in the word of God. And go forth into our breakthroughs. God declares that you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness. To the kingdom of his son. Believe it. 
Because it is so. God declares in his word that you have been raised to a new life in Christ. Complete in him. Indwelt by Christ. Believe it because it is so. God declares that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Believe it for it is so. The word of God is eternal. It abides forever. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. He says the grass withers, the flowers fade. But the word of our God stands forever. If you receive the word of God, it will abide forever. It has the capacity to transform you forever. It has the capacity to recreate for you forever. It has the capacity to beautify your life forever. Because the word of God abides forever. And whatever he does, the Bible says, is forever. First Peter chapter 1 verse 25. But the word of the Lord endures forever. The word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. The word of the Lord. Psalm 119 verse 89. Forever your word stands firm in heaven. The word of God stands forever. That's why the Bible tells us that the word of God is powerful. It's powerful. It endures forever. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow and is a designer of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Nothing is hidden before the word of God. The word of God is what you and I need. And God calls us to have faith in his word today. Faith in his word. And then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. My prayer for you today is that as you hear this word, faith will come bubbling up on the inside of you. Faith will develop on the inside of you in Jesus' name. Faith comes from hearing the knowledgeable truths of God's word. Faith comes from hearing the truth of scriptures to take what you desire. Not too long ago, I was before the Lord in prayer. And I, the Lord said to me, the Lord was speaking to me and I was writing it down. And then after a while, the Lord said to me, I should wait. I will hear something. So I waited. And as I waited, I heard the sound of faith in the spirit. And I heard it in my left ear. The sound of faith was like a song. But the way I saw this song was like fire. It was like fire, like all this uh, uh, fireworks that people are doing. But these fireworks had a song. It was singing. And what it was saying was fit, 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 like fire. And when I heard it in the spirit, I recognized what God was saying. You have to let the fire of your faith come alive. Your faith has to catch fire so that you can take what rightfully belongs to you in the word of God. Now, if you have faith in the word of God, which is the word of truth, you will dance the dance of faith. You will dance the dance of faith. My prayer for you is that as you hear the word of God today, you will receive it and begin to dance the dance of faith. Even if you do not see it yet, you believe it. You receive it by faith and you begin to give God thanks. I decree that somebody is dancing today, dancing out of sadness, dancing out of sorrow, coming out of pain, coming out of shame, coming out of sicknesses, coming out of disappointments, coming out of disgrace and dancing by faith into your breakthrough, into your new day, into your new dawn, into your new New, new creation that God is creating for you. In the name of Jesus. Faith is powerful. Faith is the delivery channel. And this is what the Holy Spirit said to me. He said, faith is powerful. Faith is powerful. And faith is now a noun delivery. Faith enables you to assess your inheritance in Christ. Faith is for you. Faith is not for God. God does not need to have faith in his word. God and his word are one. Amen, somebody. Faith gives you access to receive what you want from God. So faith is the key that you and I need. Faith is the key. 
you gain access based on your faith and your proofs is also based on the faith that you have. Glory be to God. The kingdom of God is based on keys. Faith is the key to receiving what you have. Faith in the word of God. Faith in the power of God. Faith in the ability of God to transform your situation and bring hope out of a hopeless situation. Faith. And faith is also based on the proofs that you have. James chapter 2 verse 18. But someone will say you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. In other words, I have faith so I stepped out. I have faith, I took action. I have faith, I did what God's word says. And then I begin to see results. I'm telling somebody today, by the word of the Lord, whatever you could not do before, begin to believe God and begin to act upon it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever God has asked you to do, by the word of the Lord, rise up in faith and begin to do it. In the name of Jesus. Faith in the word of God works. Is your breakthrough. That is how I live. That is how I survive. My faith is in the word of God. My faith is not in the government. My faith is not in, in the politicians. My faith is not in any human being. My faith is on the eternal word of God that does not change. That has the ability to transform my situation. That's what we need. That's what we need. Faith has the capacity to transform. My prayer is that you will receive it today. In Jesus name. God has given every one of us a measure of faith. And what you do with it is what determines your destiny here on earth. The just shall live by his faith. Faith is your key to open the door of your choice. Faith is the key for you to use to fulfill your destiny. Faith is the key. It's just like Jesus said, I have come that they may have life. But the choice is yours. They may. It's yours. These are the words that I received from God. Inspired words I received from the Lord. Faith is, is a choice. It's yours. It's, whether you want to believe or not, it will determine the outcome of everyone's journey here on earth. James said, I will show you my works by my faith. The faith that you have in God, what are you putting it on? What are you putting it to use for? You need to start putting your faith to use. You need to start doing that thing that you are trusting God for. You need to start stepping into that dimension that you are trusting God for. It's time to operate by faith in the word of God. It's time to hear the sound of faith. And it is only those who hear and receive it. These are the ones that we dance the dance of faith. It's time to put on your dancing shoes of faith in God's word. And dance into your own colorful destiny. Dance into your own breakthroughs. Dance into your own change of stories. Dance into your own change of testimony. Dance to your next level in God. Dance into your glorious inheritance in God. It doesn't matter what is going on in the world. The just shall live. By his faith. So faith is vital for your breakthroughs. Faith is vital for your breakthroughs. Any man without faith cannot receive anything from God. Faith will move you forward in life. And faith will deliver according to your expectations. Faith will deliver according to your expectations. Faith is the currency to open heaven's resources. Everything delivers by faith in the word of faith. The word that we preach is the word of faith. And so you must have faith to be able to tap into the word of faith. Faith is the currency of heaven. My prayer is that you will receive faith. Faith will develop in your heart as you hear the word of the Lord. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. If I begin to testify what faith in the word of God has done for my life, 
time will not permit me. The word of God has healed my body because I received it by faith. I remember when the doctor said I had multiple fibroids. I was bleeding to the extent that I was losing my hair. And I came to the bishop, Bishop Borel, and I told him I needed prayer. And he gave me an appointment to come for the evening service. And I came and he prayed for me and anointed me. He prayed the prayer of faith by the word of the word of faith, the word of God. I believed it, I received it. And when I went back to the hospital for my scar, they said, Mrs. Gamra, after you had your operation, fibros was cut off from here, from here, from here, from here, from here, from here. Six places, about six places. And they said, the seventh one is dead, is calcified. Because I tapped into the word of faith, by my faith, by my faith. My prayer is that you will receive your healing by your faith. You will receive your breakthroughs by your faith. You will receive your upliftment in life by your faith. God has prepared all things. He said, behold, all things are ready. Go gather people into my house. All things are ready. But the things that you and I receive are the things that we receive by faith. My prayer is that each and every one of us will begin to exercise our faith in the word of the Lord. Can I tell you that it is your turn to be blessed? Is your turn to go forward in life? Is your turn to have your own breakthrough to break forth on every side? Is your turn? The devil has no legal ground over you. Is your turn? It doesn't matter what is going on in the world. Is your turn? Right in the midst of pandemic, right in the midst of darkness and chaos, right in the midst of depression and oppression, right in the midst of what is going on, a hopeless and a helpless situation. God's life will come bursting forth for somebody as you receive it by faith. That promotion is coming by faith. That miracle baby is coming by faith. That miracle job is coming by faith. That miracle spouse is coming by faith. That child is coming home by faith. Everything is by faith. And all things are possible with God. So it is. All things are possible to the one who has faith. In God. Glory be to God. My prayer today is that you will begin to engage in the power that is in the word of the Lord. You will begin to engage in the light that is in the word of the Lord. In Jesus name. And as you do, darkness will flee before you. As you do, all those that hate you will be put to shame. As you do, all your enemies will turn their backs. As you do, you are breaking forth on every side. As you do, as you receive the word of God, the power in his word by faith, your situation is being transformed. Your life is being turned around. Beauty is coming into your life. Where there was once ashes is now beauty. Once there was, where there was chaos is now beauty. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree today in Jesus' name, that as you receive the word of the Lord, it will answer to you. All your heart's desires will be met. I decree that wealth and riches will be in your house. I decree that your righteousness will endure forever. I decree that light, the light of God will dispel darkness in your family. Darkness in your children. I decree that your children will be great on the earth. I decree that your descendants will be mighty on the earth. In the name of Jesus. And I decree that you will not be afraid of the threat of the evil one. That your heart will be steadfast. Your heart will remain steadfast. Trusting in the word of the Lord. That he may establish your going out and your coming in. My prayer for you is that God will humiliate all your humiliators. And all your mockers. When you take hold of the word of faith. When you begin to experience your own breakthroughs. Where they were once mocking you, the word of God will mock them. Once where you were once humiliated, the word of God will humiliate them. This was what happened to me when I was walking. Walking for the world, now I'm walking for God. All my humiliators were put to shame. All my mockers were put to shame. Because I dared to believe what God's word says about me. And that is what will happen to you in Jesus' name. 
When they come to attack you, they will be disgraced and God will clothe them with disgrace and shame. And that shame and pain and sickness will no longer be your portion in Jesus' name. As you take a hold of the word of faith, no more defeat for you. It's victory all the way in Jesus' name. And your light will shine. And your light will keep shining and shining and shining until the perfect day. From henceforth, you will never stumble in darkness again. From henceforth, you will never grow up not knowing where you are going. The light of God, the light that dispelled darkness at creation is dispelling every darkness over your life. And over the lives of your children, over the lives of your family. When people are struggling, groping in the dark in this world, you will see clearly. You will know what to do clearly. You will arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The Bible says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will be seen upon you. His glorious light in the power of his word will be seen upon you and upon your family. We are different. Say to yourself, I'm different. I'm a child of light. I'm a child of light. And I pray that you will receive it today. God calls each and every one of us to put our trust in the word of God. To put our trust in the word of God. And as we do, light will come bursting forth in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. And I pray that you have received the word today. Because the word you receive is the one that will shine out your darkness. And position you in that breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Amen. We never love to stop, to close without giving somebody an opportunity to make Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. If you're here watching by any chance and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, I'd like you to say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. I repent of all my sins. I invite you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died for me and you rose again for my justification. Come into my heart. And live my life for me. And if you have said that prayer. My prayer for you is that. Christ will take his place in your life. And you are born again. And the grace. To walk in the light. The grace to engage. The light and power of the word. I release it upon you in Jesus name. The grace to see clearly in this dark world. I release it upon you in Jesus name. The grace to make it to the end. The overcomer's grace. I release it upon you in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Contact the church and let us know that you have given your life to the Lord. And we will take it from there. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're in a new week. And I want you to receive grace from the Lord. I want you to receive grace from the Lord. Speak to the Lord in your heart. Receive grace for this new week. Tell God what you want him to do for you in this new week. Tell him you want to hear, a, a, you know, a good news. You want favor. Tell him what you want. Good news for your children. His protection, his blessings. Tell him in the name of Jesus. As you have said before him, receive it. And I release the blessings of the week upon you. That God will not allow your foot to be moved. That the Lord will keep you. The Lord will keep your children. The Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in. The Lord will preserve you from all evil. The Lord will preserve your children. Preserve your spouse. And I decree that the peace of God will be in your home. I decree that your, you will prosper. The prosperity of God and the love of God will be within your walls. I decree that peace will be within your walls in your home and within you in Jesus name. I decree that prosperity will be upon your businesses. Prosperity will be upon your jobs, your careers, your family. In Jesus' name. I decree the blessing of the Lord will rest upon you. That God will cause his face to shine upon you. And I decree that the power of the almighty God will continue to defend you and your family. As you engage in the light and the power that is in the word of God by faith. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for joining us. In Jesus' name. And wherever you are, give Jesus praise. Give him praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.
you for tuning in to this broadcast. If you would like us to pray with you, or perhaps you have a testimony you wish to share, please contact us by email or telephone. Our email address is admin at ntcgcathedralofpraise.org.uk or telephone 0208 888-9427. We look forward to hearing from you. Giving is a part of worship. Your gifts enable us to fulfill our mandate of reaching people, changing lives, and advancing the kingdom of God. Your donations, tithes, and offerings can be given via the account details on your screen. Alternatively, you may wish to contact us on 0208 888 9427. That's 0208 888 9427.